This is the 39th video of the Wargaming of Wargame Design Studios Battle of the Bulge, otherwise known as Hitler's 1944 Ardennes Offensive. This is the third series, and this one in this one I'm playing the Germans, and the game's artificial intelligence is playing the Allies. It's December 17th, 1944. 12 noon turn 14 out of 198 snow conditions prevail and it's a continuation of the access movement so hopefully I got all my swearing out of the system last time I guess I need to meet need a to move all this forward. I believe this is all. Oh, this is Scorsini. And LAH. Shit, this stuff's still all mixed up. So, where the hell is Scorsini? Down here, it looks like. All right, Scorzeni goes down, LAH goes up. 12th Panzer goes down. 12th SS Panzer. So I gotta take these one at a time. This is Scorzeni. And these next two are LAH. Do, 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 do. Dude. Jesus, that's all the farther you can go. Everybody's low on fuel. I don't have to worry about moving too far. I'm basically right over the fuel depots in Germany but I got we got no fuel it must be empty they actually had a lot of fuel in them except they didn't have the trucks to bring them to the front but where I am you wouldn't need the friggin trucks because I'm literally right on top of them but I'm still out of fuel makes a lot of friggin sense I'm sure Snowflake got to work on this game. That's why a lot of these rules are so stupid. Yeah, well, it saves me a lot of movement, I guess, because I hardly can move here. Realistically, the Germans should not have to worry about fuel for the first two days. They had enough. And then after that, the farther away you were, were from the border, then you would start to have an increasing problem. But since I'm not even over the friggin' border, and the Germans actually had a fair amount of fuel, they just couldn't distribute it forward, I shouldn't have any problems. But look way back here low on fuel I mean it's just a friggin stupid die roll the die roll is probably five out of six you know you're low on fuel no matter where you are on a board if I was right on top of a fuel depot I'd probably be out of fuel dumbasses that's what you gotta deal with now stupidity all right now that I put all these guys in combat mode Do I at least have anybody that can move? Oh, an armored car. That's perfect. Let's put him in travel mode and see if anybody else is... Jesus Christ, right in front of us. I might have known. So i got to deploy him. 
All right. Got to keep on fighting. I can't move forward. Why is that? It could be there's not enough room, so we got to move them one at a time. Yep. One at a time. Well, the only thing I can say is they are in combat mode. Well, we do have an engineer. Okay, come on. Let's see if this assault gun can get over there. No, because he's got a truck up. Uh, what else is no? And he can't move forward because he spent all his movement trucking up. These other guys can now. Well, I might actually be able to match him, come close to it. All right. Well, we've got a tank here. That's good. We'll deploy him. Panzer Grenadier. Deploy him. Oh, this guy's already trucked up. We'll deploy him. Put this guy in travel mode to get him across the bridge. And then we deploy him once he's across. That's how we work it. Same thing with the engineer. And this stupid mortar. Jesus. We've got a headquarters here. What good he's going to be, I'll never know. Well, we've got some units here that may prove useful. Otherwise, let's move this unit down here. Well, this guy moved two hexes, I guess that's something. All right. Now. This guy in travel mode. Whoa. Nobody there. What do you know? These guys are not in travel mode, so let's see if we can secure that tank bridge, which we can. Jesus. Holy shit, so all these guys now are cut off. Well, technically, I guess they could go through here. Well, that was a pretty good advance. Uh, 
let's put one of these guys in travel mode. Go down here. And we'll take him out of travel mode. Help us get rid of this. Annoying anti tank. Or a flak, not an anti tank. Okay, we're going to put him in travel mode. That'll be enough to deal with him. So the guy's going to zip down here. Shit, this guy's a moment left. Hmm. There's Bastone! Just a little ways down. Gonna keep going. Oh shit, there we ran into it. We'll deploy. We'll deploy this guy. Okay, now we know where the fight is. can't cross here. All right. Let's get this guy out of the way. Holy shit, look at these guys go. all the farther he can go. What a slug. Okay. Tiger. First SS. Sixth Army, Fifth Army. Well, I know I'm going to be using Fifth Army, some Fifth Army armor for a while. I think the Sixth Army is going to go south. Six Panzer SS, I guess. So that's the top leader here. The 
fifth will stay up here. And here's the fifth. These two guys are going to stay where they are. Fifth, sixth, sixth. So this guy. Scout cars, shit. Were they with the fifth or sixth? Six. Oh, one's with the fifth and one's with the sixth. All right, now I gotta start moving these guys. This is LH, the sixth, the good. Put him in travel mode. He'll go down here as far as he can. This looks like quite a ways. So Yag Panzer. Look at PZ4. get as close to half of these as we can. That'll be our objective. We are definitely going to have a fight here. This guy's already tripped up good. Yeah, now look at these guys. They're way beyond the border. And they don't have any fuel problems. <laughs> it's like, and the guys right on the fuel dumps, they, are, they have low fuel. Does that make a lot of freaking sense? These guys should be the ones with low fuel, not them. Look at the way these guys are moving. Full movement. Should be completely out of fuel. I wrote those wheels should be shot. But that's a snowflake for you. Brainless. That's probably who wrote them. Detached all this armor from the divisions so it can do a true blitzkrieg. While I fight these guys on my left, these guys on the right, we'll just keep going. He'll throw something in front of them, I'm sure, but they've gotten quite a distance, and it, it's the so we've been on the offensive for a day and a half. I have to admit, for all the complaining I've done, I have a feeling we're way ahead of schedule. St. Vith. What the hell are the notes I made here? St. Vith fell on the 21st. It's the 17th.
Malmedy fell on the 17th. Well, we aren't going to do that. So we're behind there. Bastogne was put under siege on the 22nd. So who knows when that's going to be. Bastogne is still a ways away. And he is fighting here. What I'm coming across at Clairvaux. This is starting to get interesting. Well, it's going to take forever to move, so just so you know. Okay. This scout car is six army. So we're going to truck it up. Try to, except for the Panzer battalions and the tank destroyer battalions, I'm going to actually try to keep things separate here. Okay, this guy's already trucked up, so going to go out exploring. Christ, this is a hell of a terrain out here. I think I'm going to deploy in combat mode. I smell trouble. Okay, this armor is going to remain here to deal with this no matter where it's from. This guy is 5th Army. So he's going to move up here to cross the river. Ooh, scout cars. 666. Six, six. And they're all in transit mode. That's excellent. Whoop. So they're all in the 6th Army. God damn. This is all the further they can get. Well, except for moving down here. They're all 76 T's. Some of them get as high as 105. I don't know why these guys are so low. Okay, this guy's doing better. Sixth, okay. have we got here now? Oh, 88. I don't like setting it up unclear. Shit. Let's see what happened to these guys up here. Send, send a disrupted engineer up there. Oh, yeah. He's lurking on the other side of that road with a hyena. Send these guys. Oh shit, we got one guy there. Okay, we're gonna have to send some infantry up there to pin them in place. That's a favorite trick of AI, too. He likes to, uh, if you think he's going to withdraw in front of you, he'll withdraw out to the sides to try to get behind you. And then if you pass him and you don't search for him, he'll come in behind you and cut cut the road. 
sneaky bastard. So, send this guy north. Oop. Fifth Army. These dummies. So who's the 116th Panzer Division with? Doesn't even say here. Friggin' idiots. Well, let me look it up. With the 5th Army. Okay. That's the bottom too. And the top ones with the fifth army too is Panzer Lear. We don't want a whole lot going out that way. Six six six. Okay, so he they keep sliding to the left. This is it, Jesus. Like I said, the roads must be real guys. Must really be shitty. that river oh I don't have him selected uh, duh oh, I've got an 88 on this road Go up here. Yes, he can. One, two, three, four. I gotta get closer. That guy, I think, is gonna be blown away. Let's see if he can go there. Nope. That one thing about an 88, he gets off the road, and that's the end of his movement. Are these guys. Our sixth army. Oh, well, he got to the road. That's something. Guy's fifth. 
What's this? It's another 88. Shit. Now see, you can't. I don't know whether he's deployed or not. It looks like he might be. God damn game. They should tell you when he's deployed. If you're going to go through this extra step, how do I know he's in combat mode and not deployed? There's nothing to tell you. God damn dopes that right that do these rules and especially that document them. They're stupid beyond belief. If you just played through this game a couple times and these guys that write the rules, they don't. I don't even know if they know the game somebody just gives them some notes and I guess they write the rules they don't know sh jack shit because that's the first thing you would think of how can you tell it's deployed or just in combat mode if it's in combat mode it, it can't fire and if I if it's in if it's deployed and I guess I'll have to watch to see if it fires. What is it? It's flak regimen. Okay. If it's deployed and you click on it, it could go into travel mode. God damn. Stupid people. Imbeciles. All right, so we got that dilemma got another headquarters we're gonna put all the headquarters together most of them are worthless anyway shit he can only move one hex yeah he's thinking oh we got two 88s here These guys aren't going to be much. We're going to deploy this guy. Aren't going to be of much use here. Because this guy's not going to last long. This guy may last a little longer, but this armor will take care of him. So I'm going to leave, where is this guy? I'm going to leave him there, trucked up. We'll move this stupid mortar up there. He's friggin' worthless. And here's two more headquarters. God, they only move one hex. Yeah, this is shitty. A shitty road up here it must be like a swamp. Even the headquarters move one hex and they really. Here's another big gun. It's only good against soft targets though, which those guys are, but like I said, that armor I think is going to take care of them. So let's. Move this guy forward. And this is Fifth Army. So move him forward. as far as he's going to go, so we'll deploy him. And what do we got here? Jesus, these guys are 6th Army. Oh, is that? Looks like Scorzeni almost. 
Nope, oh, it's LAH. They're all in travel mode. So they're all 6th Army, so they should swing left if they can. Yep, good. Okay. So this guy is 5th Army. He's going to swing up there. These two are 5th. So he's going to swing up there. And slowly we'll sh sort this out. This guy's fifth. I think he's moved already, though. Nope. He'll swing up there. I just gotta circle around here and make sure no one's hanging around. Okay, these guys. Fifth, sixth, sixth. Fifth of the, is an engineer, so he's good for assault. He'll go up there. Sixth. Let's swing left if we can. We got 55 move movement points left. They can't go in these hexes. Christ, what the hell is it? It must be quicksand. Jesus. Amazing. Sixth. Now, this is a panther, so he can go in the hex, but infantry can't. Ah, oh, what sense does that friggin' make? This is fifth. Boy, this area outside the roads is stinko. Total stinko. Okay, here's Gorzani. Six, six, six. I wish I had St. Vith. I'll have it next turn, hopefully. Could use it for the road movement. This off road movement sucks. So this is all going to swing left. Probably not, but. Well, that guy. See, sometimes they go and sometimes they don't. I don't know. If it's armor. Oh, this guy won't do it. This is Fifth Army. This is terrible around St. Vith. Just terrible. That armor better blow away that flak unit. Okay, this is 6th Army. And this is probably 6th as well, yep. Now, I see we have an armor battalion here. Oh, got some good stuff here. Scorzeni. Everything 6th Army here. Okay, let's get it going. Take the armor car first because it moves the fastest. Pretty good. Uh, I 
Breaker. Whoa, got a couple Panthers. <laughs> These guys are low on fuel. They're way in back of those guys in the lead, but they're the ones low on fuel. The guys that are way ahead of everybody, uh, they're low on fuel. No. Okay. Some of these guys just can't go any further. Oh, that's it. This, I think, is the last of the priority units. God, he is slow. Oh, low on fuel. Sixty sixth. That's the eighteenth, and so he's going to be fighting in this battle. It's a sixty second, okay, so we'll put him there. Okay, now as soon as this, these yo-yos clear the road here, we can start moving these guys down. In the meantime, 62nd. Eighteenth and sixty-second, so these guys are gonna be in this fight. Christ, in road mode, they only move one hex. The bottom one here is the 62nd. <sighs> These two are the 116th. Oh, we've got one... One more guy from 62nd. So they're going to move into this fight. These guys move up here. Oh, shit. Should have put him on the road. That well, didn't matter. That guy still can't move. These are 116th Panzer. What the hell are you doing up there? First SS. Let's get them on the road. This guy's 18th Volks. Okay, so that's 66 core. Let's truck him up. Start bringing him down here. He's going to get involved in this fight. Okay, so all these guys are moved. No, these guys. Everybody's moved down to there. Okay, all those guys have moved. Hmm. 
Now again, is this guy deployed? I think so. One, two, three, four. He can fire at two targets. So I'll have to see if this guy can fire. He's with the flak battalion. So I'll be watching those flak battalions. So I'll leave him where he is. Got another guy, 88 here, same way, okay. Now, who are these guys with? LAH, six Panzer. You know, all the pri this is the last, this armor battalion is the last of the priority. So that means Panzer there, these guys can slip in behind them. Got another 88 here. Let's hope it can shoot. So we got a bunch of 88s that can fire, start firing on these guys. This will be the first turn. Those fuckers better fire. Shit. I wish I knew. God damn it. These three are in the same situation. This one's the furthest away. All right, I'm going to do it. See? How he's deploying. So he was deployed. Because he went into travel mode? Or maybe not. Shit. I don't know. Well, I guess I'm going to see if these guys can fire. Then they were deployed. But how do I know that? There's no way from the counter I can tell that. That's enough to give you an ulcer. All right. Enough of this shit. Let's push these guys forward. This looks like squares any. What's the matter with these guys? Go. Panzer Lear is with the 5th Army. All right, let's go down here. Now. Tippy toe out here. Doesn't look like anybody around. Ok, 
God damn it, it's rubble. And these are all foot sloggers. No engineers. Shit. Well, let's put one of them. They're 19, so that should be more mechanized. No, they aren't. They're mechanized with a shit. But they will go two hexes. So we're going to put two of them in travel mode. And we're going to go out. These guys will go sideways, and then this guy will go up the rail, and this guy will go out this way to see if there's anybody out there. Meanwhile, put this guy in travel mode. I got an 88 here. That's nice. But it's rubble. So I need an engineer, because everybody will stop when they hit rubble. Here's an engineer. OK. Clear mines of rubble. Okay, even though he's in um, he's in travel mode, apparently he's clearing rubble. I thought you'd have to be deployed. Better deploy him just to make sure. He's still clearing rubble. Let's see, you can tell if the rubble or obstructions are in all caps that means it's uh, in effect if it's cleared it goes to upper lower case and all that happens when it it's cleared it clears it for road movement but if you think about it combat movement well, except for armor. Combat movement is only one hex, so it wouldn't make any difference. But it's a good defensive value, minus 40. Jesus. So it'll still be minus 40 when it's cleared, because it only clears it along the road. It just, just so road traffic can move, which is okay with me. So let's get the first armor unit up there. These guys are just barely holding on down here. Shit, look, another one of these turds. Jesus. Vermin. All right, let's start sending the armor that way. Freaking finally. Oh, we'll give this guy some oomph. I don't know how he held out. 54 men. And he held out at one time. This was a armor battalion in good order. It's only a steward, but still. And it was an infantry battalion in good order. And he held out against it. Yeah, that's got to be Iron Cross work okay we get this armor up here and he doesn't have much back here we're gonna get in the back of him that's the one's just down here going boy really this guy goes one hex
put him in travel mode. He's only going to go. Oh, no, he went. Let's put him up here. We'll deploy him. I'm going to beat up on that armor. Okay. I'm hoping these fuckers are deployed so I can start shooting against this guy. I'm going to really be pissed if none of these 88s are deployed. It should be. Jesus. I can't stand this. So we're going to have to take care of this guy. Nothing else is probably going to work against him. 88 to blast him to smithereens. Alright, let's get the rest of this stuff moving. Oh, so everybody's going to stall on this guy. God damn it. get this guy deploying alright shit I've got another 288s up here one two three four let's get engineer up here so I can assault with them. Get this engineer down here so we can assault this guy. Now you never can tell when one of these bastards might try to sneak through here so I have to put him there. guys can move down here and that's the end of our time we got a lot of movement to go that's the nature of this unfortunately so let's just see if before I go here if this guy ever built his bridge. What a jerk off. He's still building since the fucking beginning of the game for 14 turns. No, 13, because he was, he was there the first turn, and I... No, it's 14, because I uh, indicated he should build a bridge. And 14 turns later, he hasn't built it. Jackass. All right, we'll end on that note.